Hello friends and welcome to Testimony Tuesday. Today, I'm going to tell you about the night I should have died. Here's what happened. I was going, I was here in Thailand. This was like six years ago. I was here in Thailand and I was going with my friend Travis to go visit his school and I was gonna make a promotional video about his school. And so it was a long ways to get to his school and we ended up going on a motorbike. We had been traveling for about 12 hours and we got to a friend uh, that Travis knew and we spent the night there. And so we were really tired, laid down. But at midnight, I woke up sitting straight up in bed and the only thing that was in my consciousness was that there's something on my back that hurt really, really bad. And so as I was kind of waking up, I was like, took my hand and I was just like, to try and get whatever it was off. And it was still there. And I thought, oh boy. So I did it again. And then it didn't hurt so bad. And I heard something moving away from me. And I thought, boy, I need to know what this is. So I grabbed my flashlight and I shined it over there. And I saw a snake about that long. Now, I've been hearing stories about snakes in Thailand. You know, this particular snake, if it bites you, you take two steps, you're dead. Um, five minutes, you're dead. And I started to think, I just got bit by a snake. I wonder if I'm gonna die in a few minutes. And actually just last, just a few days ago, Travis was here at our house and his brother Jason, we were talking about snakes and, and this story that I'm telling you right now. And Jason told me another story. He's like, there was this guy who, I don't know how it all happened, but anyway, there was a cobra that bit him, but it, it was like just on the very tip of his finger, barely broke the skin at all. And the guy was in the hospital in a coma for three days and that finger shriveled up and fell off. Yeah. And then we started looking up and like the king cobra, if that snake bites you, it has enough venom to kill 20 men or one elephant. Okay. That gives you sort of a picture of what we're playing with here with snakes. This is not a joke. And I was like sitting there realizing I just got bit by a snake. Like, am I gonna die? Now I'd never had to think that thought before, but I was, I very quickly said, Lord help me. <laughs> and I thought, you know, I need to wake up Travis. And so I looked over and he was sleeping and I said, Travis, wake up. You know, cause I didn't want to wake up everybody in the house. And so I was, I was, he, he wasn't waking up. And so I was like, start poking him. I'm like, Travis, wake up, Travis, wake up, wake up. And he, he was there and then he like, you know, got up, saw me, uh, kind of went, and I'm like, no, uh, no, 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 no. I, like, if I die, I want him to know what happened, you know? And so I told Travis, I said, Travis, I just got bit by a snake. And he's like, what? He sat straight up, he looks at me, and I was like, yeah back here and so he's like okay so let's look so he looked and he said yeah actually the first time i pulled my shirt down and uh, he was looking with my flashlight da, da, da. he's like no 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 you didn't get bit by a snake there's nothing here i think you're just dreaming I was like uh-uh i felt it i saw it i know it was there so i pulled my whole shirt up and he looked at my whole back and he's like okay 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 i see where it bit you but it wasn't poisonous. I was like, oh, wow. Talk about a relief. I mean, it was scary enough getting bit by a snake at all, but to find out it's not poisonous, whew. And then I said, what do we do now? And Travis was like, well, go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, well, I had a little too much adrenaline to just go back to sleep. But anyway, Travis, he, he looked under his mattress because we were just lying on mats on the floor. He looked under his mattress and make sure there were no snakes there and I looked under my mattress and I'd gone to the other side of the room where the snake went to try and find it and see if it was still there and you know, kill it. Uh, but I, I never found it. And so Travis went back to sleep, it took me a while and I was just thinking there, you know, praying Lord, please be with me. Now the crazy thing is, Travis had told me it wasn't a poisonous snake, but I felt venom going in and the bite was like 
right over my spine. And I felt it going in, it felt like a bee sting. You know how you can, do, it's like a needle, right in. I just figured, you know, it's kind of freaky getting bit by a snake, it's probably just in my imagination. So I go to sleep, next morning I wake up, and my first thought was, I'm alive. Praise the Lord, this is good. And I never thought that when I woke up, you know, I never had to think that. And so when Travis woke up, I'm like, hey, you should take a look at my back and see what you see. And so he looked at my back and he kind of sat back and he looked at me and he said, you know what I see? I said, what do you see? He said, I see two fang marks. That means it was a venomous snake. And I was like, what? You mean to tell me that I got bit by a venomous snake last night and I'm alive? How is that? And you know, for about 12 hours after that bite, I would feel that sharp pain like the bee sting every so often. There was no swelling, there was nothing else negative, you know, just in my body about that. But I knew right then that Satan had tried to take me out. This was not just a random snake. Satan was trying to kill me before going to Travis's school to make those videos. And sure enough, we went, we made those videos, got really blessed, and it has been a huge blessing for God's work here. But I always wondered what kind of a snake was that? And so I was looking through this book that had all the snakes in Thailand. And I was looking through all of them and I looked through it and there was only one that looked like it could be it, you know, cause I just saw the snake for just a second and it was gone. So I, I looked and the one snake that looked like the one that bit me was a cobra. It wasn't a king cobra, but it was one of the other cobras. And I thought, man, you know, I really, really should be dead right now. If it wasn't for God's protecting hand over me, I would absolutely be dead right now. You know, that gives you a sort of uh, assurance that God has a plan for your life. Like, I know my existence right now is not an accident. God saved me from certain death. I don't know what's around the corner. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next year. I don't know, but I know who knows. And I know that he's taking care of me and that he has a plan for my life. And you don't have to have a cobra bite you to know that God has plans for you. In Jeremiah 29, I believe it's verse 11, it says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God has a plan for you. He wants you to be in heaven. And he wants to use you to help other people be in heaven too. The question is not, Will God use you if the question is, will you be used by God? Today and every day, I choose to give myself to God again so that he can use me because he's got a plan for my life. And I want to encourage you to do the same because God has a plan for your life just like he does for mine. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.